This flu has two storm collars. Too bad neither one's installed correctly. When I can get it done cheaper goes wrong. pretty epic foundation failure in this garage. There's some pretty heavy cracking and uh, let's see what the zip says. 3.1. Yes. Up on a roof. This house is only one year old uh, and it's already being sold. Uh, so we're doing this as a, uh, a buyer buying his house inspection. Uh, and you can tell Either they didn't have the inspection done when they built the house or their inspector did not walk the roof. We have a lot of foot traffic and stucco damage on the shingles down here. Uh, not a single window is caulked on the stucco. There's some more foot traffic damage down here. We are missing kick out flashing right there. No caulking around the windows. Got to be a full, but that's a homeowner. Uh, lifting flashing there. Some good old mortar cracks here. And a giant hole in the mortar. And stick my whole hand in there. So, on the back porch, 1930s house, lots of updates. Uh, I saw a little bit of damage up here on the header board and it just crumbles. And we've got frass, it's rain and frass. That's dry wood. Long way around. On a new construction home today. We're going to talk about the dryer outlet, the 240. Uh, now on newer homes, you're going to have a four prong outlet. And these four prongs, the two on the side are going to be your hot lights, your red and your uh, black wire. The top is going to be your ground wire and the bottom is going to be your neutral connection. So if they've wired this properly, I should get a 240 reading between the hot and the, the two hot lines. And I should get a 120 reading between the hots and the neutral and no reading between the hot and the ground. So let's test this out. So I'm on the two hots and we're only getting 120. Now we're going to go to the hot to the neutral and this should only be reading 120, reading 240. And on a hot to a ground we're not supposed to get anything and we have a 120. So uh, they did not wire this dryer outlet properly on a new construction home. Tyler's earning his paycheck today. Got seven tanks on the septic system. And I'd say it's uh, just about time to pump.
I think we counted like 127 screws. <laughs> It's a little noisy. So we got a couple of good electrical things on this new construction of home this morning. Uh, this is your dryer breaker. This is the electric water heater, uh, which is in the garage. So they have both our GFCI breakers, which is good. But uh, essentially these same breakers should be set up the exact same way. If you look at one, we got the four wires required for the GFCI breaker and the bottom one, we only have three wires. So we're missing the wire that goes under that lug right there on the bottom so one is correct one is not and the other thing is uh, this is your electric oven breaker which the electric oven is three feet from the kitchen sink so anytime you have an electric uh, oven or electric cooktop that's within six feet of a kitchen sink on new construction homes if they're following the latest update to the electrical code this should be a GFCI breaker as well so this should be GFCI and this one needs to be wired properly I have another fun find on this new construction home. We have our AC running currently. This is going to be your fresh air intake for the AC system, which the fresh air intake should be pulling air in to the AC system. And I know you can't tell from the video, but I'm standing here and there is cold air blowing out of the fresh air intake. So instead of pulling fresh air into the system, we are air conditioning this exterior wall. The lead sleeve around this plumbing vent uh, needs to be remediated. The plumbing vent is actually way down in there. I can't even touch it with my finger. There's a big opening here. It's just gonna go right into the attic area. So uh, probably gonna find a roof leak today. Um, if not, I'd be pretty surprised. suspicious. Teller said the dryer wasn't drying very well, so let me go take a look. That be part of the problem. Got some galvanized plumbing leaking.
1970-ish house. And got a little leak underneath the shower pan. It looks like it might have been happening for a while. Those are my tester holes. Yeah. Oops. And I stuck it in there. And we got moisture. Came up here. We got moisture.